My friend Pip loves Milo, but I think Chip is better. So we're on Milo and Chip one block to prove who's better. Oh, where am I? And wait, Chip, Milo, and Pip, what are you doing here? I'm glad you finally woke up, Louie. I put you on these one, one block chunks so that we can finally settle once and once all who is better, Milo or Chip. Wait, seriously? Well, Chip is way better than Milo. Milo's a noob just like you. Oh, well, let's put it to the test. All right, listen up, buddy. We should go ahead and build and some bases, and whoever has the best base on their one block wins. But we only have 20 minutes. Oh, well, you better get to punching that one block because I'm just gonna be you. Oh, no, you're not. Your one block is useless, buddy. And the best part is, I think let's have a little wager. Whoever loses this challenge and has the worst one block island gets grounded for a whole month. Oh, you're on, buddy. Yep, I know that I'm not going to get grounded because um, I'm just a really, really good guy. And anyways, if I got grounded, I wouldn't be able to make Minecraft videos. Don't worry, Louie. I can just continue videos instead with Milo and Chip. Those would be way oh, better. no way! You would totally ruin the videos! Guys, comment down below if you think Pip being a noob would be able to run this channel. Probably not. Come on, oh. Louie. I'm not making a YouTube channel. I have my own. Did you not know that? Mm sure. Well, whatever. I'm going to get started building my one block island right now. First of all, I need to start expanding with a bunch of oak planks just like this. Then I can also start putting dirt down just like this. And I can start growing trees. This means, Pip, you are going to have way less wood than I do. I'm going to have the best one block island and yours is going to be, well, to put it shortly, terrible. What are you talking about? My one block is already looking way better. I can just expand just like this. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? You're completely copying me with the oak wood. But unlucky for you, I'm smarter. I have these two chests placed down, and I can now store all of my items. I'm going to go ahead and make a wooden shovel so that I can mine my one block way faster than you. Oh, no, you're not. not better get to mining, buddy. Oh, I will get to mining, and I'll have so many better materials. It's going to be beautiful. Beautiful! And wait, I just got a chest! And it's letting out love hearts. What's going to be inside? Oh, it better be your mama's homemade cooking. Let's find out what's inside and... Oh, oh my God. gosh! I just got a benevolent gift. And it is full of smooth stone, orange concrete, and oak planks. And the best part is I can use this all to build my house. And it's going to look just like Chip. So I'll start by building out a map massive platform. And on here is my first build. I'm going to build a huge statue of Chip. It has to be perfect. It needs to look exactly like him or else this will not be the Chip One Block Island. It will just be any average one block. Well, Louis, your chest came with a bunch of trash materials. My chest came with a ton of light blue concrete and a bunch of light blue walls that I can use to make a way better platform. Oh, what is light? Light boo? Is that what you just said? Oh, come on, Louie. I have a speech impediment. And it basically means I'm not good at talking sometimes. Okay, okay. I was only joking. But anyways, as you can see, I've finished my floor. And it's time to build my chip statue. So Chip has a bunch of different colors. Orange, peach, and brown. But maybe I missed something in the chest because it seems like I need more colors. And wait, look, it added more for me. I have a bunch more materials now. This Chip statue is going to be amazing. I just have to start by oh, putting the orange. Not going to be as cool as my Milo statue. I'm pretty sure it is, Bib. This is literally the best statue ever. Oh, in your dreams because I'm working on Milo's feet now. These have to look exactly like his real feet. Dude. I think this is looking pretty good, buddy. What do you think of my chip build so far? I have already built his feet and I'm getting started on building his legs next. Your build is probably going to look 20 times weirder than mine. Wait,
which means it will look bad, and mine will be extremely amazing. That definitely is not true, Louie. You can already tell that my that build is better than yours since I'm building it faster. Wait, what? Seriously? Hey, how are you building like that? I'm building at lightning speed. Oh my gosh, guys, Pip is going so fast. What do you think? Do you think my build is looking better than his? Now it's already starting to look like Milo's feet. I need to make sure this Chip statue is perfect. Or else Chip will not like it. And he will probably go over to Pip's one block. Well, I can't wait to have him on my side. It's going to go so wait, fun. Wait, seriously? I thought you said you didn't like Chip. I thought you said Milo was better and you would kick Chip off if he came over. Oh, no, I do like Chip. I just don't like you having what? him. Oh, well, I won't let you have him. You don't deserve him. Oh, I deserve everything, Louie. Yeah, world. you even deserve a terrible long block <laughs> with a terrible statue, too. Oh, well, this doesn't look terrible to me. Uh, well, I'll be honest, Pip. It looks terrible to me. Who oh. even is the judge of this? Um, we are the judge of this. And also, Milo and Chip are literally on our one block. So they could be the judge. Oh, well, Milo is already loving my build. Oh, I can see he's looking straight at it. But what is Chip doing? Oh, no, he was looking over there, too. If we stop right now, Chip will not like my build. And he will totally go over to Pip's side, which is illegal. Oh, what is so illegal about that, Lil? I should throw you in prison for you even thinking it illegal. What? Oh, Pip, you are such a little evil mastermind. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder how we are even friends if you're gonna throw me in prison every day. Oh, we're friends, so I can always beat you in bill challenges. What? You never beat me in bill challenges? Guys, look at my build and then look at Pip's build. Uh, who is more likely to win in a build challenge? Comment your thoughts down below. No, oh, if anyone comments your name, I think I'll just delete their comment. What? Delete their comment? Why would you do that? Huh? Because you're wrong. Oh, no, no. Oh, whatever, Pip. You are crazy sometimes. But anyways, guys, look at this. My build is coming along so well. His legs are so long and his body is just right. I just need to build his arms next. So let's get started on his arms right now. I'm going to start off by adding his sleeves and they are yellow just like this. Then I'll make sure that his sleeves stick out of his body since they are 3D and they have to stick out. Now, I'm going to build his arms up into the sky with all of these yellow blocks that I have, just like this. I think this is looking amazing. Pip's build will pale in comparison to how amazing mine is, especially once it's done. Chip is going to look at it and think it's so amazing that he will totally give me like a hundred thousand diamonds or something. Oh, look at all the silly little Chip. It is going to be trash. Tra Come on, Milo, you can tell my build is amazing. I've already finished his entire body. I just need to work on his arms and now his head. So let us see. How are we going to work on these arms? These are going to be very difficult. But as we can see, his arms are about four blocks wide. So now so let's just go ahead and put a white blue block here. And then get on top of this so we can build. We just need to build four blocks of this and then come back around. And his arms are basically squares. So they are really simple for us to build, luckily. If they were really hard, I'm not sure I can build Milo the world I want to. So arms need to go all the way up to his neck. So we're going to build about ten blocks up like so. His arms are powerful, and not like not Louis's arms. Just look, <laughs> he is in these blocks just horribly. I feel I feel bad for Chip. He has someone building his body super, super terribly, but Chip loves it. Okay, we almost almost up this arm. I wonder what I should put inside of this arm, guys. Got Maybe I can build a kitchen or a living room inside of his arms. Now we have finished up with Milo's lowly arm. We just need to do the same thing on the other side. So we can start on the construction of his arm. But, oh, this is going to be, to be difficult to ladder down, guys. This is super dangerous. Oh, no, no, I do not want to fall in this void. Please don't fall in the void. Please don't fall in the void. Okay, let's just... 
climb onto this ladder, ladder like so. And how about we make sure to expand the path, the path a little bit? Because I do not want to fall in the void. So what we're gonna do is come down here and get our oak plank. plank. We're going to make sure to expand out the platform. Just so I do not fall off the sky block because if you die in the game, you die in real life. And I do not want to die in real life. So I'm going to make sure we have an oak platform all around our my little build. build. Now that our platform is fully complete, we can just start on our ladders again. We will have two giant ladders going up the left side of Milo and the right side of Milo. So we can work on his arms. And his arm starts right here. Right, so we're going to place this light blue wool. And luckily when you build new ladders, it builds behind you. So this is going to be super simple for us. Now we have our platform to build on. Let's just let's try to climb down here. And oh, how am I supposed to get all get there? Let me just place a ladder and maybe do some hardcore parkour. And there we go. Now I can have to work on this arm like I want to. So all right, we have to get four blocks wide like we did on his other arm. And four blocks this way. See how we just do like before. Build straight up. But luckily we aren't digging straight up because when you dig straight in Minecraft, you are probably going to die. But no one's no, you couldn't build straight up, right? Uh, Pip, what are you even talking about, buddy? I can literally see you over there trying to talk a bunch of garbage so that everyone will think your build is better. But I'm building my chip's head all the way into the sky and it is looking beautiful right now. How are you already starting on his head? I'm just not just finishing up my little time. Uh, because I have a lot of building school practice in my head. That's how I'm so good at building. I literally learned from the creator of Minecraft. Oh, you did not learn from Hero Brian. Stop lying. Wait, what? Hero Brian isn't the creator of Minecraft. Notch is. Uh huh. Whatever you ever say. Oh, have you guys ever seen Hero Brian creating Minecraft? No, he's always trying to scare people. Well, he didn't scare me. He taught me how to build. That is why I can build so amazingly. Why do I feel like you're lying to me about something? I don't think you went to school with Hero Brian. Of course. I did, what do you mean? Why would I lie about that? I'm not sure. Hey, guys, I have an idea. I think I'm going to try and disguise as Hero Brian, and I'm going to see whether Pip is lying by trying to scare him. All I have to do is put skin set Hero Brian and boom! Oh, wait, what? Why am I a cat? Uh, let me try again, guys. And boom! Now I look just like the real Hero Brian. All I have to do now is just sneak around a corner and scare Pip. So let's go ahead and sneak up on him. Where is he right now? He's all the way down there behind his base. So I'll just go ahead and jump down like this and ow! That really hurts. You know what? I have an idea. Let me just build over with some gray wool all the way over to Pip's side. I'm going to put myself in the perfect spot and then I'm going to scare him. All right, guys. My base is coming along so well. And wait a second. What is that? Ah! Uh, uh, wait, wait. Uh, was I just seeing something? It doesn't look like anything was over there, but all right. I just have to build up the body of my Milo a bit more. This is going to be amazing. But, but huh? wh why did I just get a water bucket and get a brown block? Did, did Milo just poop on me? Oh, that is really disgusting. Let me throw away that brown block. I'll keep this water bucket again. But I just got a bunch of yellow, yellow concrete. Oh, I love yellow concrete. It is my favorite color. So that is amazing. Maybe that was just my building build. Helping me blocks. Oh, this is why I love your bride. And wait, who is punching me? Brian! Oh, no, no, no. I saw you here, Brian. Where were you? And wait, how, how did it disappear? Oh, that was really weird. But oh, ah! Off my Milo. Sure, Brian's trying to scare me again. And I want to build my Milo. I just might build a few more light blue wool blocks and I'll be good to go. Guys, this is so funny. Every time he turns around, I just come back and scare him. And wait, what is he doing? Oh, 
He's right down there. Look, I have a good idea. While he's building, I'm gonna drop down on his head and then fuck him <laughs> up! <laughs> <laughs> Brian, stop messing with me. You're supposed to help me beat Bowie, right? Oh, oh, guys, who's asking me? Uh, okay, I have to put on a hero, Brian voice. Um, no. I'm here to, um, expel you from school. You're terrible at building. What? out of school when I already graduated here at Brian's Building Academy. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave now. I'm just, um, see what Louie's up to and, uh, help him and, uh, I, I mean, um, oh, yeah, I gotta Brian. get out of here. I have to switch out of this hero Brian skin before Pip comes over to my side and realizes it was me. So I'll come back here and <laughs> boom! I'm back to Louie. But guys, look at this. I'm going to build a staircase up just like this. And as you guys can see, my chip build is pretty much complete. I spent such a long time on it. And there is no way that Pip's Milo build could ever compare to this. Look! Oh, Building a banana in the void. What? I'm not building a banana. This is a staircase. So I can look at my chip build in all of its glory. All right, Louie. Louie can build a banana all you want. I'm going to work on my own head. All right. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to work on the next part of my chip one block island. And next up on the agenda is a chip themed restaurant. So I'm going to start making a chip themed McDonald's. Oh, you can get McDonald's all you want. But Milo is never going to go to that good McDonald's. Oh, really? Really? Well, we'll see about that, buddy. When my McDonald's is so addictive that Milo and Chip just want to go every day to eat. No, no, <laughs> not true. No one's going to go there. Well, we'll see about that, buddy. I'm going to get started on my build right now. I need to make sure that the inside of my McDonald's has an area where the customers can walk. So I'm going to put a bunch of oak planks just like this. This will be the customer area where everyone will be able to come into the McDonald's and make their orders. I'll just have to break a few of these orange blocks like this and just place oak planks in the way. Now what I need to do is make the kitchen area and the kitchen will be a lot bigger. It's going to be full of stone bricks on the floor because wood in a kitchen is very bad because it could set on fire. So what I'm going to do is just go crazy. I'm going to break all of these blocks. Now what we have to do is place the stone. So I'm going to place it all just like this. But we need to add things like ovens and all sorts of things, which I don't really have. So right now, I guess we should just start on the outside. I'm going to start by making the McDonald's M. But first, I'm going to add some orange stained glass on my McDonald's. And I'm also going to go ahead and make the entire restaurant shaped like a McDonald's. McDonald's M. So I'll go up like this, then I'll come over and go back down. So I'll do it on the other side. So I'll do this, and then I'll go down, and then come right back down in the middle to make the M shape. And as you can see, guys, this restaurant is looking just like a McDonald's M. Now I just need this orange stained glass to fill it up. So now we have this huge M-shaped building. This is the Chip McDonald. I just need to start by working on the outside of the building now. Just to build up some walls so that my customers will be able to eat in peace. Without being struck by lightning or uh, rained on. So to do that, I'm going to add a small wall right here. And then a little window on the side. And this will be where my customers are able to sit and look at the views of the one block island. Which is, uh, nothing, because it's the void outside. But anyways, let's just keep going ahead and building more and more glass. And I think that's looking just fine now. I am fully completed with the glass. Now let's just fill in some yellow blocks so we can finish up building the walls. And there we go. Now, we should be able to afford to be able to build the second floor. This will be where all of my customers can come to look at the beautiful chip statue. But first, I have to build the floor because there's no way my customers will come up here and eat if there's just a big hole going to the restaurant down below. Now, I'll build up another window on the side here. Pip is going to be so <laughs> jealous, guys. It's going to be so funny. Louie, how did you make a McDonald's? 
just that crazy looking. Uh, what do you mean crazy looking? I think it's really, really good. And uh, I don't see a McDonald's on your side, so clearly I'm the better builder right now. Oh, Milo doesn't even like McDonald's, so I'll be fine. Are you sure? I mean, if your one block island is worse than mine, you're going to get grounded for a month. No, no, no. Pip is not getting grounded today. Are you sure, buddy? I mean, I think I can see you losing this already. You're totally going to lose this one block build challenge. Not true. Um, very true, buddy. Way true. Just have to fill in the roof of my McDonald's. I'll just fill it in with some orange concrete. And now we have a two-story McDonald's on my chip-themed one block. And the best part is, customers can eat up here and have an amazing time. But there we go. I'm finished with the second floor. Now I just need to borrow some of Pip's ladders to be able to get up to it. So let's sneak over to his side a little bit, guys. I'm going to go over and grab some of his ladders and, and take them from his Milo build. I'll just mine from up here and go down a few blocks like this. And there we go. I now have a bunch of ladders and I can put them in my McDonald's without Pip noticing. All right, guys, guys. Go ahead and climb down so that I can work on a new, new Milo restaurant. And wait a second. I swear I had ladders here. How did I get up last time if I didn't place any ladders here? This doesn't make any sense. Let me just ask Louie. Louie's right there. Louie, did you see someone mess with my ladders? What happened? Did, did Milo break them? What? Someone mess with your ladders? Um, no, no, I, I didn't see anyone. <laughs> uh, in fact, uh, I think it was you. You were the one who uh broke your ladders and stuff. Louie, how would I have broken the bottom ladders if I was all the way up there? Oh, well, uh, maybe you were just being clumsy when Herobrine came over to your side. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I wasn't. I was clumsy when he came over to my side. But, but how did you know Herobrine came to my side? Uh, don't ask me. Uh, I'm just uh, smarter than you think. Uh, I'm going to work on my base now. Wait a second, guys. Uh, Louie is acting very suspicious. Oh, he probably was the one who took my ladders. If he wants to troll me, I'll troll him. <laughs> um, Pip, what are you doing? What are you doing? Pip, why did you put TNT down? Oh, no. You're trying to get down now, Louie. Uh, I'll just parkour down. But now I have to rebuild my staircase. Oh, no. It looks like it's going to take you forever. Oh, Pip, you're so annoying. Guys, comment down below if you think I should troll him. And wait a second. I'm looking in the comments right now, and it seems like all of you think I should troll him. So look, I have an idea. I'll mine the one block until it gives me another chest. And then it should hopefully have some trolling ingredients inside that I can use to troll him. So, wait, what? Something's weird. I just broke the one block and now it says it's going to upgrade. Is it going to explode? Uh, and, uh, oh, um, nothing happened. It was just a bunch of blocks. That was scary, though. But let's go ahead and just mine this one block until it gives me a chest. And then hopefully I will be able to troll Pip. It's going to be so funny. Well, if Louie wants to build a soda McDonald's in the sky, then I'm going to build an amazing McDonald's in the sky. And wait, wait a second. Huh? Why is Louie over there in his one block? Does, doesn't he already have plenty of materials? He doesn't need that oak log. What? That chest gave him everything. That is very suspicious. Anyways, I cannot be distracted by good for nothing, Louie. I have to build my incredible base and I'll make sure I'm even at a window real quick. I want to make sure I can keep an eye on Louie in case he tries to pull a fast one on me. Seeing as this is supposed to be the best McDonald's ever, I'm going to go ahead and add a wall to it as every single McDonald's has a wall in it and it also to add a roof as well. So we can have the golden arches on the inside. And on the outside, we have an amazing McDonald's. This McDonald's is going to be so important. I think I'll also make it my HQ. The Pip HQ wow. is going to be the McDonald's. Let's just go ahead and make sure our roof is fully rounded out. And now we are going to make the roof come down like so. No, no, Louie was sure, Brian, because huh? Brian gave me so many OP blocks, and Louie would not help me win. So, uh, there, there can't be sure, Brian. 
but luckily, we are just about to delete it with our walls. We just need to put down a few more yellow blocks. Like so, let's get over here. And boom, the front of our McDonald's slash HQ is complete. We just need to add a back wall, but I'm not sure how much needed this is. Louie cannot cheat through the back wall. However, if Louie comes over here, he can easily punch me off since I do not have a wall to secure me. So let's just go ahead and do that so we are completely safe in case Louie tries to kill us. Oh, if Louie tries to kill me, I'm going to make sure he is the one who dies. Oh, guys, I've been mining for a while, and I finally got a chest! And, oh my gosh, look, it's full of a ton of different trolls. Look, let me grab these, and maybe I can troll Pip with them. Okay, let's see what we have. So first, we have some rotten eggs. Oh, this will definitely be good. I'll just throw one of them into Pip's base. And hopefully one of them will hatch into an evil mob. And look, there it is! Wait a second, what the heck is that? There's a whole bunch of dinosaurs! This is an infestation. I need to kill all of these little dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look, Pip is going crazy. He's burning his entire island trying to kill them. No, no, no. The only dinosaur that can be on my island is my Since he is part dinosaur. But no other dinosaurs are around. Come on, dinosaur, go over to Louis' side. Um, Pip, why are you trying to bring dinosaurs over to my side? I have nothing to do with this. You should probably stop trying to uh, dinosaur my island up. I don't want to be returned back to the Stone Age. I thought dinosaurs were supposed to be in extinct. Well, not today. But, but anyways, Pip, I am totally going to go back to my McDonald's now. Uh, just, uh, yeah, have fun doing whatever you're doing. Don't worry, Louie. I killed all of the dinosaurs. Now I can have my building in peace. All right, guys. Look, Pip went all the way back to his base, and I pretended to go back to mine. But now it's time for my second troll. I have a good idea. I'm going to use this splash potion of invisibility to make myself a ghost. And now look, guys. I'm literally invisible. Only you guys can see me, but Pip cannot. All right, let's go ahead and troll him now. But what should I troll him with? The lava or the mutant zombie? Hmm, I think I'll go with the lava first. I want to leave the best till last. So what I'm going to do is just slowly walk up behind Pip. And I'm going to cover him in lava and then remove it straight away. So I'll just go boop. And now he's burning, but he doesn't know why. Oh, wait, why am I burning? Did I accidentally fill it myself on fire with a flint and steel again? Guys, this is so funny. There's literally no fire on Pip's island. And he's confused thinking he just made himself set on fire. That was the weirdest thing ever. All right. Well, guys, Pip is still looking for things to put in his McDonald's. But now I have an idea. I'm going to go ahead and just mine the block down here and put some lava here. So when he walks out of his base, he will fall into it. Oh, if I accidentally set myself on fire again... Now I have a little hot tub. Oh my gosh, guys, he has a hot tub, but it's not going to help him. When he walks into that lava, he's going to have to run all the way back into his hot tub. It's going to be impossible. Oh, I can tell Louie about this hot tub. He's going to be so jealous. Come on, Louie, come on. I need to tell you something. Oh, wait, what? Uh -huh. He walked straight over the top of my lava. Uh-oh, he's going into my McDonald's. This is bad. I'm still invisible. Oh. Louie, where are you? Uh-oh, he's totally looking for me. But I guess while he's in my McDonald's, I can go ahead and leave him a surprise for when he gets home. A mutant <laughs> zombie. Okay, let's get out of here. And ow, 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 I'm burning. But I'm not anymore. Okay, let's get back to my McDonald's. Pip is going to be confused that he can't find me. But when he goes back to his build, he's going to have the surprise of his life. Oh, I can't find him around here, but whatever. I'm just going to go home. Maybe I'll even leave him a surprise and break some of his windows. But, hey! Guys, I'm just going to push him out. Oh, what was that? No, whatever. I can't be worried about his base. I have to be worried about the new zombie inside of my house. <laughs> 
There's no way he can get back in to build. He's trapped outside. Oh, come on. I can kill this guy with a flint and steel, but I put my flint and steel in the chat just so I don't light myself on fire again. There is no way, guys. Pip is completely trapped. The only way he can get that zombie out is by killing it, but he will die in the meantime. Oh, I just cracked the stone sword. It's time for you to buy me and zombie. Oh, there he goes, guys. But anyways, while he's in there, I'm going to go ahead and start working on my McDonald's because I still haven't got a nice oven down yet. So first, what I'm going to do is get all of these blocks out of my inventory. I'm going to start by building the seating area. I need some tables like this and some chairs. So now you can sit down and eat your McDonald's. I'm also going to have to repair those windows, but not right now, guys. I have nothing in my inventory. But what I'm going to do next is put another table right here with a small chair. So now there's a lot of things we can do. We can sit here and eat. We can sit here and eat. And the best part is we still have an upstairs dining area where I'm going to have tables here too. I'll have them going all the way around here in each corner. So now we have four really big tables where we can eat all of our McDonald's. Uh, let's just put them here. Put a chip. Put a table, put a chair, put a table, put a chair. You guys get the gist. We have the most amazing McDonald's I think I've ever seen. This upstairs dining area is so cool. But now it's time to do the downstairs cooking area. So I have to go into the kitchen. And McDonald's has a lot of ovens because they have to cook a lot of food. But they also have to cook hamburgers too. So I'm going to put a bunch of hamburger stoves. And some of them are deep fryers. So I'm going to get rid of this hamburger stove. And I might place it here. But now I'm going to have two cauldrons. And one of them is going to be filled with deep frying water. And as you can see, this looks just like a real life deep fryer. If I throw food into it, it will cook it all the way through. And I'll be able to pull it out deep fried. And it will make amazing food. Like look. I'll get this pig right here, and I'm going to put it in the deep fryer. And boom, guys, I put it in there, but uh, it needs to cook for a while. So I'll just let it wait for about three seconds. But while I'm waiting, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Because if you do, you'll become a Louie legend. But anyways, I think the deep frying is done. Let's go see what we got, and woohoo! We got cooked pork chop! We totally just deep fried that poor pig. But anyways, I think my kitchen is now completed. This McDonald's is now done. Well, I finally killed that mutant zombie. That took forever. But luckily, he is dead now. Now so I can focus on the things that actually matter, like my McDonald's. Let's just go ahead and first make a little bit of a bed that I can sleep in. And maybe get rid of this lava. I don't need that lava here. So what I'm going to do is make a make real quick bed. This is going to be the bed I sleep on the non the knee. Now I have a spawn spawn. So in case I die, I would teleport right back here here but i just realized i might have my basic needs of sleep though i have like no tools all i have is the shovel and this sword so let's go ahead and make a pickaxe as it is very, very hard to survive anywhere in minecraft without a tree stone pickaxe right here now with this pickaxe i can remove really annoying blocks that i might have accidentally placed on my milo so let's just go ahead and get rid of this block and not fall off the lobster. Come on, I want to get rid of this block. Let's just shimmy over here. And now the concrete is gone. Boom! But I love pickaxes. There's no way Louie has a really good pickaxe. But wait, why is there a hole in my floor? I don't think I put a hole down here. And what? <gasps> uh, guys? Why is there a dungeon under my base? Oh. This is looking very scary. Oh, I don't know if I should jump in. Uh, guys, I think I'm just going to just up down there. What's the worst that could happen? And whoa, this is a super scary dungeon. Why are there so many skeletons around me? Um, what is that? Oh, I don't even know, but but oh, there seems to be a chest right here. Well, let's go ahead and look and look at this chest and. There's a book and quill. Oh, I don't really like reading. Read. Whoa. Inside of the book, it says, it says, How to turn to creative mode for beginners. First, you have to speak these magic words. And like and subscribe and comment. That is a really 
really weird saying. Like, like us, subscribe, uh, comment, ha. Huh? I don't know what that means. And there's nothing on page to page. So, so oh, I said like and subscribe is common. Huh? Where's my creative mode at? Uh, maybe I need to get like a magician. Abracadabra, like it, skip, comments, and subscribe is. I'm now in creative mode. <laughs> this is the power I like to have. Now I can put TNT all around my space. Bye bye, Louis. Wait a second, what's going on? Why do I hear TNT and Pip? How are you flying? I don't know, Louie. Maybe you should, you should read the book. Uh, wait, read a book? What do you mean, read a book? I read loads well, of books! Well, you must not have not a right book, because as you can see, there is a dungeon beneath my base, which had a super magic book in it. Wait, a super magic book that turns you into creative mode? Exactly, Louie, that's exactly what I had. I so look, I can fly around with ease. Well, you know what? Then I'm going to your base and I'm reading the book. Let me find it! Go, 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 go! Um, Louie, it's not going to be there. I deleted the book. What? You deleted it? Oh, well, what were the magic words I had to say? Is there anything that I had to say to become a, a magic creative mode man? Oh, oh I, I, the book says something like, like if, subscribe, subscribe if, and comment, sir. What? Uh, I say that all the time. Guys, subscribe, like, and comment. Where's my creative mode? Oh, Louis, you have to say it like a magician or it won't work. <sighs> all right, Pip, let me just put my magician cap on. There we go. And a liker, subscriber. And, um, uh, well, what was the other one? And comment. Uh, oh, I got it. And comment. <laughs> and, wait, I'm in creative mode. Oh, yeah, Pip, your base is toast. I'm going to destroy everything. Oh, not if I destroy your base first. <laughs> wait, what? No, 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 no. You know what? I'm getting rid of this TNT. How about this, Pip? Let's make a truce. I won't destroy your base, and you won't destroy my base. Oh, that was close. Oh, no. I'm blowing it up. Get up. Say bye-bye. Your TNT is completely missing, but you know what? While well, you failed to blow my base up, I guess I can start building some other things. And wait, since I'm in creative mode, I can use world edit, which means I can build so much faster. I have an idea on what I want to build. I want to build an area where Milo and Chip can chill out 24-7 and look really, really cool. I'm literally going to build them a huge gaming room. I'll place my Wand of Symmetry down in octagonal mode, and then now now, all I have to do is get some smooth quartz blocks and build them around like this. Now, I'm building up a really cool gaming room. This looks epic. And I'm going to make sure that the windows are really round like that. Now, all I need is some orange and cyan stained glass. And I can make it Milo and Chip themed just like this. It looks so amazing. I'm even going to add a window on the corner right here. This is where we will be able to look out at the one block world world when we finish building it we have an orange window and we have a blue window but now it's time to fill in all of this with a roof so i'll just fill all of this in with smooth quartz and then let's build an awesome roof out of red nether bricks these things look awesome on the roof of a house and now i'll also get some red nether brick slabs just to add a little bit more detail so i'll build around my base like this and out by two blocks but guys, it's time to add a little bit more pizzazz to this base. I'm going to start by making the roof look a bit like a wizard hat. Since a wizard totally helped me get into creative mode. All right, let's just build up by three blocks now. And then next, I'll build up by four blocks. And you guys get the drill. And then I'll do the same thing, but in by one block. I'll just build up a few more here. And then do the same thing again, where I build up another wall. And then finally, I just have to build the tip that goes all the way out. And as you guys can see, I have this awesome wizard hat looking house roof on my base. And I can add a bunch of gaming things in there for Milo and Chip. So let's go ahead and do that. First, I'm going to start off by adding a big front door. Now I need some gaming monitors. And also some RGB, because RGB strips look really cool, guys. Look, I can literally have my base glowing rainbow colors. So what I'm going to do is go inside of this base right here and fill up the floor with a bunch of nice-looking blocks. 
just like a bunch of spruce planks right here. Now let's just fill it all in in the middle and we are ready to add a bunch of gaming computers. Let's get a table and I'll put one side for Milo and one side for Chip. So let's do Milo's table over here and Chip's table over here. We will be able to tell the difference between them because we will have different colored seats on their sides. So I'll have orange for Chip right here and blue for Milo. Now it's time to add a bunch of gaming monitors that they will be able to play their video games on. So I'm going to give Milo a gaming monitor and then I'm going to give Chip a way cooler looking setup with two monitors so he can look at the game on one side and whatever script he's reading off on the other side. And guys, <laughs> don't worry. I'm not doing what Chip does. I built all of these without any script because I'm so cool. But now, guys, let's go ahead and get some bookshelves like this. And let's place them on the side of this table. So that both Milo and Chip can have these really cool bookshelves that they can read from. But now, guys, I have another plan. Since they have PC monitors, some of them are going to need headphones. So I'm going to get some of those. And oh, wait a second. Why can't I find any headphones? Oh, and here they are. They were just called headsets. I just missed them. So now I'll put an RGB headset here and an RGB headset here so they flash rainbow colors. Now all I have left to do, guys, is just add some note blocks behind their PC setups so that they can hear out of them because they need to be able to hear if a zombie is sneaking up on them in oh, Minecraft. Yeah. There we go. Let's just go ahead and add a roof now. But what is Pip up to? It looks like he's been busy in creative mode. Guys, while Louie is over there making his little witch hut, I'm going to make the coolest pool ever. What I'm going to do is get these get really nice pool tile blocks out of my inventory, and we're going to place these all along, so we're going to make the coolest private tub in the entire world. This is where my pool will be, and only I and Milo can swim in it. No Louis or Chips allowed. Unless they admit that they lost, then they can swim in my pool all they want. But now let's go ahead and fit it up this pool. I bet you, you guys have never seen a cooler pool than this in Minecraft. Even make sure to add a hot tub. Not everyone loves the pool. Sometimes people even love hot tubs. Oh, I might just throw Louie in the hot tub if he doesn't admit that my base is better than his. Just look. His base looks like a Taco Bell. What even is that in the chat? That is a very silly building to make. Now we just need to place a few more pool tile blocks and our entire pool will basically be completed. Uh, besides the water of water, so we need to make sure to add that. Uh, now that our pool is completed, let's get some water out of our inventory and place these all along like so. Placing water in a really huge block is kind of difficult. Like a very steady pool that you and I can swim in. Uh, next thing we have to do is get rid of these blocks which will be done like so we just have to break over these blocks and boom our hot tub is coming along nicely besides the fact that i just broke that block let's make sure we don't accidentally break our pool Otherwise, Milo might be very, very upset at me. The only person who's going to be upset today is Louie when he loses this build. Since I have such a cool pool, I'll even add a little bit of a diving board. So Milo and I can do some epic, epic flips while diving into the pool. pool. Woohoo! This is awesome. But I completely forgot. God, I wanted to add a hot tub. So right over here, we're going to add a small extension to our pool, which will be where our where hot tub is located. The tub will be way smaller than our pool, since hot tubs are mainly just for a few people, while pools are pools supposed to be for a ton of people. So now, let's get some lava out of our creative inventory, since lava is the hottest liquid in Minecraft, and people take hot tubs in lava all the time. Though, so I wonder how they don't die in the lava, because I, I will definitely not be taking a hot tub bath while in survival mode, because if I try to do that, I'm just going to burn the burner. But luckily, I can cool off in the water, so I will be a okay. Louie's about to be so jealous of my pool and hot tub. I'll even add a diving board into my hot tub. 
No one adds diving boards in the hot tubs for some reason, but this is about to be a very hot splash. Luckily, I like to hang around in the hot tub in creative mode and be perfectly fine. Uh, but my face is kind of on fire. I should probably get... I do not want to turn into KFC today. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what Louie's up to right now. And Wait a second. Louie, Louie, what is this? Uh, it's not important. It's not important. You're not allowed to look at it yet. Get away! Louie, Louie, that kind of looks like a racetrack. Uh, get off! Oh! I'm in creative mode, but that didn't do a thing. You just lost a bus of yours. Well, fine. It's a racetrack. But I'm going to add some uh, fun twists and turns. So uh, you can just keep building what you're doing. And, and we will definitely have a race later on. All right, Louie. Whatever you say. Yeah. What do you think about Louie's base over there? He's trying to make a cool racetrack. But no matter what he does, his base will not be better than mine. I think you think oh, I want to add an upstairs to my McDonald's where I can add, it, add even more McDonald's related stuff. So let's just go ahead and place these plate ladders. And now this is about to be the most epic second second ever. Have you guys ever been to a McDonald's with a second second? Because I have not. Oh, that would be so cool to go to a McDonald's with a second floor. I wonder what they would put up there. Maybe an arcade? Oh, wait! That's a genius idea. I should put an arcade on my second floor. That way, that, maybe I can even have some customers come inside and I can get a whole bunch of money. And Milo and I can go to the arcade every single day as we would be living inside of an arcade. Okay, that sounds like a dream come true, guys. Now, let's just go ahead and finish up this wall so that Louie cannot sneak inside of my arcade. I cannot let him see that I'm building an arcade. He would get extremely jealous and probably try to start breaking my base, which would uh, not be very good at all. So now let's just go ahead and work on the work ceiling like so. We can make this ceiling super fast. We just have to just have about 10 more blocks and boom, the ceiling is completed. So since this is an arcade, we need to make sure we add an arcade machine. So let's just get a TV out of our inventory and we can place it right here. Here we have a TV. Let's just place down these little arcade machine consoles. And look, Milo and I can play video games together. But if we do not want to play on this arcade machine, we can always play Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch is my favorite game, guys. I love playing Super Duck Bros on it. And of course, I love playing Minecraft more. But Super Duck Bros Duck is my second favorite game. So now that we have these video games, let's go ahead and add a really old video game over here. This is going to be what I like to call... Oh, time game ding. Yeah, what we're going to do is hook up a little breadstone to lever and boom. Well, now we have this really old TV on the floor, which we can change the channel and play all sorts of really cool video games like this game. Oh, I don't really know the name of this video game. It looks super fun, and hopefully I can play this with Milo. This is what really old people used to play when they were going up. These were the first video games. I remember the first console on. It was called an Atari. Oh man, that was that was fun. But compared to video games now, this would be called super duper boring. Now that we've placed this, our, our arcade needs to look way better. So let's go ahead and put down some paintings. I mean, every single arcade has to have a Donkey Kong Kong, as it is just not an arcade. If you don't shout out the old video games like Donkey Kong, then we can all we can put down a little bit of a Spider-Man painting. Oh, that is that is going to look super cool. This room is so exciting. Oh, I can't wait to see Louie's face when he sees my sees Kate. I want to show him right now. Uh, whose face, Pip? Uh, your face, obviously. Uh, well, did you say you built an arcade? Uh, I mean, uh, I'm kind of interested. Uh, could I possibly take a quick peek? Oh, sure thing, Louie. You can come inside and look at my art, my head, and it will show you that my base is way better than yours. Oh, no, it's gold. You know what? Let me see that arcade. Let me see it. I'm going in here and climbing up to the top. And uh, what kind of arcade is this? It's just a TV attached to a Nintendo Switch. And uh, what, 
What is it? This is the farming channel attached to a console. Exactly, Louis. This is the best arcade in the world. This is not gaming. This is watching TV on my Xbox. Oh, Louis, if you don't like that game, that is exactly why I have this other game right here. Are you sure? That just looks like a reality TV show. I mean, look, you're watching Power Rangers on this one. Then you're watching a staticky screen on this one. And then... Who is that? Is that Jarma? Uh, no, there's no there's germs on that TV, Louis. You can see right over here. Oh, my second favorite channel is the Woman Winking channel. <laughs> All right, that one's pretty cool. But wait, I think I just saw Shrek. Uh, let me find it. Look at that channel. That is literally Shrek. No, that is not Shrek. There's no way they put Shrek in Minecraft. Well, I mean, they did make a Shrek video game. So I guess this works as your arcade. But, uh, Pip, look at this, buddy. You should definitely come over and see my base. It's 20 times better, and Chip loves it. All right, let's let your sucky witch base you built over here. Whoa, 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 well, first of all, before you look, just, um, make sure to take in the beautiful Chip statue that I built over here. Uh, you mean the beautiful, beautiful Milo statue I built? <laughs> Oh, your Milo statue isn't even beautiful, and it's not even finished! But anyways, Pip, look at this, buddy. This is my gaming room slash Taco Bell slash enchanting room. Uh, Louie, I knew it was a Taco Bell! Yep, and it looks amazing! You can even get tacos off the floor. Oh, I want to eat some tacos! Give me the tacos! Give me the tacos! Whoa! Okay, um, Pip, be careful. Be careful. Don't just take all the tacos or you might get a, a bit poopy. <laughs> Who else is going to eat these taco tacos? Uh, me. Oh, whatever. You know what? Come inside here. This is the gaming room. Oh, all right. Let's go ahead and game, Louie. What games do you have? Uh, well, well that's the thing. I, I, I don't have this attached to an electricity supply. So, technically, we, we cannot play games. Oh, well, why don't we just install some games? See, let me show you how to install. Stop to punch this and boom, what? it's installed what? now. You just broke my PC! Ugh, whatever. Pip, come over here. You are breaking my gaming room, but you cannot break this. This is a racetrack. And if you beat me, I guess I won't let you get grounded. Oh, well, I am going to throw your gaming monitor off the plank. <laughs> what? Hey! Oh, Pip, just try to beat me in this race. You're not going to do it. Oh, you're on, Louie. All right. Let me just get behind the steering wheel, and I can see you in the other car. And uh, Oh, I, I might have broken mine. Y you know what? Let me get back in. But here we go, Pip. Are you ready to lose? My car's way faster, and I'm already going. Oh, no. Bye-bye, Louie. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, we just flew miles in the air. But be careful, those spikes are deadly. Or are they? <laughs> what do you mean, or are they? Are they the ones taking so much damage? Uh, well, Pip, I'm beating you in the race. I've already lapped you twice. No, no, not for long. I just need to make this turn. Oh, it is so Whee! hard to drive in Minecraft. Yeah. I'm coming back to get you, buddy. And, oh, I totally just ran three laps around you so easily. My vehicle is so much faster and better. Oh, not, if you're, not if it gets destroyed. Uh, what do you mean destroyed? It cannot get destroyed. And Oh, oh no. Oh, yes, this thing is breaking. This thing's gonna break it. Oh, no, my engine broke. Oh, come on, come on. I'm just need to beat you in this race. Come on, I'm beating yeah. you. No! Oh. All right, fine. You beat me! Easy! But, Pip, we've looked at both of our sides, but whose side is the best? My chip one block or your Milo one block? Oh, clearly my Milo. Just look, I completed his entire body. Just uh, ignore the fact I did not complete his head. His oh, well, I think my side is better. I have all of these amazing builds and this awesome chip statue. But it seems like we can't decide. So, guys, I have an idea. If you think my side is better, then make sure to comment Louie down below. But if you think Pips is better, then comment Pip. And we will see who's going to get grounded. Oh, if I get grounded, I'm going to be so mad. Yeah, me too. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like this one, then make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's go! Let's Pip, go! What are you doing?